Hello, my name is Peter James Detweiler. I'm here to talk about, uh, well, I'm a homeless man in Largo, Florida. I work at a tire shop over here. I make like 20 bucks a day, maybe, sometimes. And I'm perfectly happy. Um, they let wanna, you shower there, don't they? Yes, I want to talk about my upbringing, my life. I was the victim of incest. I made love to every woman in my family. My mother, my you sister, what? made love to them. To who? My grandmother, my mom, my sister. You made you had sex with your grandmother, your mom, and your sister. Yes. Anyone else? They must have talked together, you know. And I, hey, you know. And my grandfather was bad to my grandmother, so she needed it. My mother got divorced, so she needed it. And my sister had her hormones flow, flow through her body. She's four years older than me. So yes. And I. So you sound very lighthearted about this. Like this doesn't bother you today. It doesn't bother me at all. Not at all. Think about it. We Do you think it bothers from, them? No. It may be, it might, but I think my attitude towards it may help them, too. Okay. What's your sister's first name? Kathy. How old were you when you first had sex with your sister? I was seven. How old was she? Eleven. How did it happen? Did she approach you? Did you approach her? She approached me. We used to sneak off. You know, so she, your sister put had it there, hit on you. Good. Huh? Your sister hit on you. Yes. Because she's four years older. Do you remember how she did it? What did she say? She didn't say anything. There was no words. We made. We, we had sex. She didn't it's, say. It's, it's, I, it's nature. Did she say, Peter? I'd like you to do this with me. Yes. Yes. Okay. So what else did she say? How did she say when she first approached you? I what can't remember exactly, but it was exciting for me. Okay. The thrill. It's all new to me. I don't know anything about it. So um, your sister's still alive, right? Yes. What's your first and name? I love again? her very much, Kathy. Tell Kathy. Kathy, I love you. I have nothing against you. <coughs> and that's it. I love you. I have nothing against you. I'm not mad at you. I'm not angry. Okay, let's move you. on to your grandmother. How old was she the first time you had sex with her? Um, I was probably like 14 or 15, so she had to have been, I don't know, 20, 30 years older than me. My mom's Your, your grandmother? It, it was my step-grandmother, anyways. It wasn't blood. Oh. My grandmother wasn't blood. So you were how old? 14, 15? Yes. Okay, that's diff. To me, that's different. You were 14, 15 and had sex with your step-grandmother. Yes. Who was the not only, blood. The only one I knew was my grandmother. Okay. I met my real grandmother um, right before she died. She had cancer of the brain and the eye. She was born in Holland. I'm Dutch. I'm, I'm, I have relatives from Holland and France and Germany. And uh, that's about it. Uh, okay. My mother's a wonderful person. Tell us about sex with your mother. How did this happen? What did your well, mother... When I was growing up, she used to like play with me to get me to go to sleep. And I got hooked on it. I'd cry if she wouldn't do it. Play with you sexually? Yeah. Like molest you? No, of... no. Just like whatever. Rub me. Yep. And this led to sex. Yep. When I grew up later on, I get ready to go to school, and she said, if I don't have my makeup on, we can do it. If I have my makeup on already, I can't, because i got to go to work. Yep. That's what your mom said? Yep. So, as a kid, did you hear people... She would never face me either. She would, She said, I'd fall in love with you if I faced you. I'd give, give, give you kisses while we were doing it. So she would turn her back to me from behind. I took her from behind. And that's it. So if your mother was alive today, talk to your mother as if she was still alive. I love my mother. I love your mom. Her name is Janice. Okay. Thank you very much for that segment. We're going to end this and hopefully speak to your friend here. Thank you. Yeah.